Welcome everybody to Simrace TV Network. I'm Jay Weezy. We're back here on Monday night. We switched it over to Monday. Simatics usually run on Tuesday. They switched it over to Monday nights here at 830. What's up, Rick? What's up, Anthony? Appreciate everybody for tuning in. We got a good one coming to you. Williams Grove, Pro Lake models. Good looking cars out there. A lot of great drivers out there. The Simatics partnered with the Dirt Outlaws series here and the Dirt Track Junkies, so I guarantee you we got a good race coming up to you here live tonight. Like I said, I'm Jay Weezy, and I really appreciate you guys for coming on board here. Watch a great race here tonight. Jeremy Freeman and his group. They out there running some laps. They got about eh, 12 and a half minutes left here in practice. So we got plenty of time to mess around here. If you're out there, let me know what it looks like, what it sounds like, so I can fix it for you if there's something wrong with it. And uh, other than that, hope everybody has a good time, man. Shout out to Keith Hackney. And congratulations on the baby. As usual. It's always good to have new life, man. Good stuff. We're out there already working the track in, looking good. We're looking at Noah Samples and Tim Christensen. And Blake Fulmer right there battling. Blake, Blake won that. They're just out there running around some laps right now, so not a whole lot. See Noah blinking a little bit here, so we'll switch over to Blake. I tell you what, before we go green, hey, I wish I could use that man as a copyright thing, Rick. Uh, I would. That's a fun, fun song. That's actually the. First time I heard it was on uh, Simatic's website, and if you want to check them out, hey, if you're on YouTube, it's in the link, in the, it's in the description below. There's a link for you. So we are uh, live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, and I heard Twitch is the best looking out of all of them, you know, so it's up to you how you want to watch. As long as you're here, I appreciate that. So what I'm gonna do here real quick, and I want you to bear with me. I'm going to throw up this splash screen so I could uh, make some adjustments real quick. So I can bring you the best possible. So hang on just a second. on the track right now. Yeah, I wish I could play that song, man. That'd be a good one to come in with. Dirt track thing. Hey, we came in with getting dirty. That's close, right? What's up, Rod? I see you out there, man. Uh, appreciate everybody for watching. We still got about eight minutes left here in practice, so let's take a look at Terry Joyner here. 
take a look at some of these paint jobs for these guys. What's it look like? What's it sound like? Let me get some feedback. I'm watching YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook chat, so. I don't watch Facebook all the time, but I do watch it every now and then. I look at uh, YouTube and Twitch. For sure, YouTube. Twitch, maybe, and Facebook, I doubt it. But I can see it when I look for it. Most time I'm looking at the race, though. So we got a good one here. Simatics at Williams Grove. It's a great looking track. Take a look at them out there. They're out there running around, battling with each other. It's a packed house tonight, today. It's tonight, but it's today, you know what I mean? in no hurry we got some heat races coming up 10 laps we got a feature coming your way it's gonna be I believe 30 and uh, hopefully they can make it on fuel I believe they can right now we got let's see who said that Willie all right, hang on a second. We got 16 and they got 11 minutes to uh, get in here. So it's still taking, we're still accepting cars here. Registration's still open. Uh, right now we got 16 in here. Looking at Terry Joyner battle with uh, the 80 or the 27 and Tim Christensen. Tim has been out there running laps. He's gonna be one to watch out for. No samples. The number eight machine. I think it's a great looking uh, late model there. He's got a little blinky blink action going on and some with his uh, internet or whatever. So you can't stay on him too long, but what's up, Chris? Let me know how it looks and sounds. Tim Christian, let's take a lap with him. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate that over on the YouTube side. This is a tricky track right here. I come in here and run some laps yesterday and uh, cause I had to work all my cameras for this broadcast here tonight. I didn't realize I needed to until uh, I did the broadcast last night. So I come in and worked on my cameras a little bit, added some cameras and whatnot. I ran some laps here. I mean, you gotta really just hit the brake going in, get the car to kick out on there, on you. Once it kicks out, you can either stay in the gas or you can kind of roll on the throttle and get back in it that way. And that's what I found was the fastest was not staying in the throttle once I hit the brake. If I mashed the gas back down, I was losing a lot of time spinning tires. Kind of backed up the track a little bit. But when I let off after I whipped it in there and swung it out. Come on out, Chris. We're still taking, uh, still taking cars, man. We got, I believe, 16 so far. And Blake Farmer's the fastest. He's got a 20.732. Bradley Hemm is right behind him with a 7.72 though, so. 
Come on, Cody. Cinematics, man. Get on in here. Thanks, I appreciate that. TJ, who's that? Terry? Is that his name, TJ? Terry Joyner. Is that TJ right there? He's right there behind number nine, Blake. TJ is fifth on the charts right now. He's got a 20.828. It's less than a tenth. We're a little, little over a tenth, barely. Uh, off of the fastest time right now. My man, Doug. Shout out to uh, all the people out there watching it. We just come in here to watch them run some laps here. I like to hear the sounds and see all the dust flying up. And yeah, it's under hosted. Uh, there's a password. You have to get it. Get in there. Hey, got a virus. It's all right. It'll be all right. Computer was scanning something, I guess. Either way, let's see. Yes, he's talking about him now. Yeah, that's Terry right there in the zero five machine. So we'll take a look at these cars, starting from the fastest to the slowest. And none of them's really slow, but we'll go right here. Blake Farmer right now, he's on the top of the charts. You see, first position with a fast lap of 20.732. Second's gonna go to Bradley Hinman, the 727 car. His fastest lap's a 772, so he's not far behind there. Noah Samples, the eight car right there, he's got a 779, so there's three cars in the sevens. Kyle Beck ain't there, there he is. Kyle Beck right there, he's fourth on the leaderboard with a 20.827. Terry Joyner, the number zero five car, 20.828. We got Jonathan Aldridge, the number 66 machine, 20.842. Tim Christensen, my man, 20.888 for him. We got Mark Wilson in the number 30 car, Stormtroopers machine, got a paint job. Stormtrooper paint job, he's got a 20.893. Yeah, it's got a password. They're in team speak right now. Terry Landis, the number 61 car. He's ninth with a 20.927. Kenneth McLaughlin, right there in the number 67 car. That's a great looking car. I tell you what, we can get a shot of both sides here. Derps for racing. Pretty cool little machine there. Lee Fettner, I don't think he's out there. There he is, 57 with a 11th place with a 20.952 out. Got him. Jeremy Freeman, the number 18, 20.975 as we were just wrapped up with practice. You know what time it is. Sorry I didn't get to go through the rest of the field there, but hey, I got to get a couple of them. Tonight, the track was looking like this. Mechanicsburg, Williams Grove Speedway. Zero wind coming out of the nowhere. 90 miles an hour, I mean 90 degrees, 116 degrees for the track. Humidity is high, 80%. We're at a one mile away this track. So it's looking good. Nice and warm out there. They're gonna go out there and qualify. We can only watch one car at a time, but we'll hear plenty of cars out there. We can only watch one at a time right here. We're looking at Jeremy Freeman. Let's see what kind of speeds he's kicking up here. 105 is what I see.
look at that. She comes off of the turn there. It's gonna be his first lap. He's turning down a little bit. Don. Yeah, Don, I know that. And they were supposed to come out with an update to fix it. Um, but it's just part of it. I think they fixed it for the most part, but you'll still see it here every now and then. Jeremy Freeman, fastest lap, a 21.117. Let's see who we got. Terry Landis, he's got a 962. Blake Fulmer with a, or hold on. Jordan Bitterling's in second. Well, not no more. Blake Fulmer just took over the top of the board here. He's He's got a little addiction to being on the top of the list or something like that because he just waited, let everybody get all happy, and then went out there and killed it. But either way, Blake Farmer, he's on the top of the charts with a 822. Terry Landers in second. Somebody's out there. Let's see who it is. Kyle Beck's still running. Come on, Kyle. Knock Blake off. I've been rooting for two Kyle Beck to pull one off here. He holds a good wheel. Now see, uh, Don, it didn't look like it that time. But every now and then you'll see it. But you can notice that tire will come up off the ground also. But yeah, it looks good now. But every now and then you'll see that, Don. Either way. We got somebody else out there, J.D. Sass, in the number 10 machine. Let's ride along with him, see how he's doing it. I don't want to give all the secrets away. Hey, we can do something else. Let's go with, uh, let's do that. So nobody's cheating. First lap's a 21-317. Shout out to all my friends and family if you're out there watching. Uh, is Howard Race? No, I don't think so. I haven't seen him in a little while. To be honest with you. Uh, 21,300. It's his first lap. So they're wrapping up qualifying here, and I believe Dylan Thornton's not going to qualify. So number 10 heads down pit road. We're getting dirty tonight with the Simatics. Oh! Dylan Thornton out there. He's qualifying now. The number 38. And while he's qualifying, let's get a talk in with our pole sitter. If we can. I'll tell you what, let me. Turn that off and let's holler at Blake.
Blake Farmer. You got a copy. Out and clear. Well, you had it fastest lap in practice, and you got the fastest lap in qualifying. What's your odds on winning this one tonight? Harder to one. I can't race, so <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give it a go, though, man. We're just having fun. Oh, man. Well, you're looking good out there, and you're wicked fast. So, hey, good luck. Hopefully, we'll see you in victory lane. 10 4. Thanks for broadcasting, brother. Hey, anytime. The mighty fast Blake Farmer. Farmer? I should have said that. Hey, am I saying your name right? I always forget. Hopefully, I am. All right, we're getting ready to run our first heat race tonight. First heat race of the night. Coming right at you here. Noah Samples is out there. Looks like he's starting on the pole. And he's got the 57 of Lee Fetchenheyer on his outside. The 225 of Jordan Bitterling. The number nine of Blake Farmer. We just talked to him. To me on the second row outside. Jeremy Freeman. Boy, this is a stacked field here. I believe that's Chris behind him. We got Jeremy Freeman, the number 18 machine, third row inside. And whoever's on his outside ain't showed up yet. But we got Chris Kukta, fourth row uh, in, inside there, the number 23. Let's see who's behind him. Okay. I can't see the zero five machine. Terry Joyner. Terry's got some fans out there. Let's see if he can come from the back and pull this one off here. It's going to be 10 laps around Williams Grove. And last but not least, the number 27 of Tim Christensen. And I'm a big fan of him. He's uh, due for a win anytime soon. Jeremy Freeman right there. He's sitting there waiting patiently. Noah Samples. There's old Lee. Fetching higher. Who else we got? Let's see Blake Fomer. Turn the music off. Jordan Bitterly. I'm just looking at some of these guys' helmets. It's pretty cool. That's uh, Chris Kukta, Terry Joyner, Tim Christensen. Ooh, he's revving it up. I hear you. All right, so I, I believe the light, they got a Mustang out there. That's a Mustang. Wow. So the pace car is going to go around one more time, and then we're going to go slide ways off into turn one with Noah Samples leading us to the green flag. And he's got Lee on his outside. It's going to be a good one here. We're going to catch all this action at Williams Grove. You don't see a lot of people running this track here because it's a tricky track. It's kind of like Pocono, tricky triangle. Well, this is a tricky track. It's uh, it gets slicked off really easy. You see that overpass there on the back stretch. All right, pace car is on its way down pit rope. No samples. It's a great start. Got Lee fetching higher up on the high side there. 225 machine running in third. We got a car around. Looks like Chris Kukta is around. Back up front, Lee gets around Noah Samples. Blake Fulmer on the inside of that 225 of Jordan Bitterling. Side by side, Noah Samples and Blake Fulmer as they battle off turn two. Run down the back stretch here. This is your top four. Battling it out for a win. Lee Fetchenheyer in the 57 machine. 
all the way up on that outside there and almost touches that wall as you see he gets them rear tires up out of that groove they come off turn two side by side still look like noah samples and blake Fomer there they can't they can't get around that 57 right now he's looking good we got seven to go as they cross the start finish line this time by Blake Fomer's, whoa, sorry. Blake Fomer's still in it. He's down on the inside there. That's going to slow him down a little bit and allow that outside line to pull away on him. But if he can make it work down there, then he's going to have a good race here. But right now, he's battling with Noah Samples, trying to get around him. That's allowing the 57 of Lee Festenheyer to get away. That's exactly what Lee wants to see. He wants to look in the mirror and see those two side by side there. Now Noah's done clear, Blake. Let's see if Noah can run down the 57, but the 57, like I said, he's, he's running a gorgeous line there. He's got them rear tires right up on the outside of that slick spot. Blake Fomer's still behind Noah there, so. They're gonna run out of time. They better get it, get it. 10 lap heat race here. You ain't got a whole lot of time to do it and you gotta race your way into the race. So, you know, there's no gimmies here. You gotta race for it. So we know the top uh, four are gonna make it in, I believe. but I don't know. I'm, they probably gonna have all of them in the feature, but they still run heat races. They do points over here and all that good stuff, so. Well, they're looking good. Let's see what it looks like from the, behind the wheel of that number nine machine. See how easy they go into turn one there. You know, that's what I was saying. You, you hit the brake, you let it slide there a little bit. Then you get back in it. You can stay in the throttle too, but you spin a whole lot of tires and you lose time doing that. You kind of slide up the track there. As you see, I'm just riding around the bottom. But that's going to end it. As you see, a race winner. He led all the laps. Nobody had nothing for Lee Fessenheyer on that first heat race. Noah Samples finished second. Third goes to Blake Farmer. Now we got a whole new set of guys coming out here. Let's check out. The number 66 starting up front. Jonathan Aldridge. He's got the 727 car. Bradley Hemming on his outside. Yeah, I do a lot of work on my cameras there, Don. I love to get good views for the people watching and make it interesting. Uh, second row inside is going to be Kyle Beck in the number two, Terry Landis in the 61. Third row is the 38 car. That's Dylan Thornton. He's got the 78 of Scott Burris on his outside. We got the number 10. They're starting in the fourth row back there. It's J.D. Sass, and he's got Kenneth McLaughlin right there with him. They're not going green this time by. So we get a second to check out some of these paint jobs here. There's your pole sitter for this heat race. Heat race number two. Bradley Hemming in the 727 car. And we got actually, this is the side I look at when they hit the wall and see how tore up their car is. Kyle Beck, number two. Terry Landis, Venom Energy Drink. Jay Dickens Race Engines. That's Dylan Thornton. We got Scott Burris in the Pro Geek Consulting Pro Late Model. Hershey's Racing Engines right there. The number 10 of JD Sass. Kenneth McLaughlin right there. There's for racing. They're getting set to go green. Pace cars in. 
It's going to be on the number 66 machine. Jonathan Aldridge just sent him into turn one slideways. We're getting dirty with the Simatics. Sixty six gets a great start there. Kyle Beck took over that second spot there from uh, Bradley Hemman, but Bradley Hemman is fighting back on the inside. He pulls up in front of him, takes that spot back. Kyle Beck drops the third, the sixty one of Terry Landis in fourth. Fifth goes to Oh no, a little contact there. No, sixty one, that's Terry. Terry goes around. Cause there's no cautions here. Uh, Kenneth McLaughlin gets wrapped up in it. They're still back here. Just want to make sure that they got it going before the leaders come back around. There he is. S sliding through three and four here with eight to go. It's going to be seven as he crosses the line this time by. Bradley Hemming in the 727 car is keeping up with that 66 machine. Kyle Beck running in third. He's not far behind here. So we'll take a look at the battle for position. Kyle Beck's got a .9, almost a 10 second, or almost a second lead. They're all spread out about the same. So we don't need that. We can see that. Let's go take a look. Five to go here in this 10 lapper. Heat race number two for the Simatics. Let's see what kind of speeds they're getting over here. We're looking at Bradley Hemmings speed. He's up to 110, 117, 26. I seen 126 there. So they're getting up to 126 before they're throwing that thing sideways. It's pretty cool. They're kicking up some dirt. They're wearing that track in. It's going to start slicking off there. These guys are putting on a great show for a heat race. I tell you that right now. The 66 is looking good. Fastest car on the track is uh, Dylan Thornton. Dylan Thornton ran a 887. The second fastest would go to uh, Terry Landis. Third fastest will be the leader, Jonathan Aldridge. Yeah, I don't see him getting. I don't see him getting around him coming to one to go here. Last lap. As long as he don't make any mistakes, he'll be able to pull this one off. Uh, looks like Kyle Beck's having a little internet connection issue. He's blinking out a little bit, but he's back. And uh, Bradley Hemmen, he caught up to him a little closer than uh, he was there early on. And congratulations to the 66 of Jonathan Aldridge. Second goes to Bradley Hemmen. Third's Kyle Beck. Uh, fourth is going to be Terry Landis, I believe. No, Dylan Thornton, J.D. Sass, Terry Landis, Scott Burris, and Kenneth McLaughlin. And a uh, tough break for Kenneth McLaughlin and those guys that got caught up in that first incident. And I hate to see that. But we're getting set for a feature race here tonight with the Sim Addicts on Sim Race TV Network. SRTV Network. This is your first time here. Hey, I'm Jay Weezy. Nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, whatever you want to do. But you ain't got to. These guys are going to come out and run some practice laps here. So we'll keep an eye on them. Oh, Chris Kukta comes right out in front of. About caused a big one there.
looking at the number 30 of Mark Wilson right now. They got less than a minute. Double, triple, flipple. You seen it. I don't I didn't see who it was. That was crazy. Warm-up's over. It's time to get dirty. No more playing around. It's time to get dirty. Y'all ready? I'm ready. We're about to grid them up. The field is stacked up here. And hey, I appreciate y'all for coming out tonight, SRTV Network. We got the Sim Addicts gonna be here on Mondays from now on. They was on Tuesday nights. They moved to Mondays at 8.30. So if you're ever interested in it, we'll be live Mondays and Wednesdays. I'll be at OSR Network uh, for the Sim 500. So looks like Monday and Monday, Thursday, and Sunday right now is what it's looking like. Simatics partner with the Dirt Track Junkies in the Dirt Outlaw series. Blake Mosley and those guys. Take a look at the grid. That ain't right. That's weird. That is not even right. Anyways, we'll do it. We'll take care of it. Let's turn off this music. We're done with the music. All right, Kyle Beck's going to be starting on the pole. Blake Fomer on his outside second row. Bradley him in that 727 car. Pretty fast out there tonight. Blake, uh, what in the world's going on? The number eight of Noah Samples on his outside. The 66 is in the third row on the inside there. That's Jonathan Aldridge. He's got the 57 of Lee Fessenheyer on his outside. The 225 machine of Jordan Bitterling in the fourth row inside. The number 38 of Dylan Thornton. We got Jeremy Freeman and uh, the number 10 of J.D. Sass. We got the Zebra 5 machine. Terry Joyner, pace cars in. We're getting set to go getting dirty here at Williams Grove. Oh, they just threw it on in there. The 38 machine goes around the bottom there. Debo's his way past that number 66. Now he's on the inside of Lee fetching higher. Let's we'll see if he can keep it down there. The 225, Jordan Bitterling put the pressure on him there. Oh, 66 gets up out of the groove there. 225. Jordan Biller is fighting with Dylan Thornton. Dylan Thornton looking good. Let's look at the leaders. Kyle Beck leading them around. Blake Fulmer in second. He's got a heck of a shot to win this one now. He's up towards the front. It's going to be a 30 lapper here. Bradley Hemmings off a fast two, along with Noah Samples out there. Blake Fulmer. He's got a Kyle Beck down on his inside right there as they come off a of turn four. Across the start finish line, he's still got the lead. Well, he's only led one lap, so I guess he just now got the lead from Kyle Beck. The number 10's up on his side. JD Sass. Oh, a little contact there. Kenneth McLaughlin involved in that one. Caution's out. Let's 
Let's see what happened to Kenneth and our uh, race leader. What's up, Craig and Blake and Dylan? Right now, we're looking to see what happened. Kenneth McLaughlin, oh, he was looked like a lap down there. Let's take a quick, quick look real quick. Yeah, Kenneth McLaughlin right there. As the leaders come by, Blake Fomer gets into him a little bit. Kyle Beck does a 360 and takes off. That's pretty, pretty talented there of him. So it's still looking all right for Kyle Beck. Let's check out his, his ride. Let's go back live here. Looks like he's got a little damage on that thing. And, uh, oh, Craig, man. Long time no see. Blake Farmer got a little bit of damage on his as well. No samples, still clean. Kyle Beck went around. He's good. So a lot of cars are still fine. Lights are gonna go off this time by and we'll get set to go green. Hmm, Dr. Pepper. Hammer down. That's gonna be my new my new thing, Doug. I mean Don. What's up, Craig? Hey man. Appreciate you for watching. Give me a like and a sub, whatever you want to do. Give me a thumbs down. I'll take that too. I don't care. Blake Fulmer getting ready to hammer down, Don. Old Don Bender taught me that. Here we go. Lee Fetchenhire gets up out of the groove there. A little bit of contact with the 38 of Dylan Thornton. Looked like they handled it. Kyle Beck got the pressure on. Caution comes out. Terry Landis on his roof. Let's find out what happened to Terry. see it from his perspective look at all that dirt I mean he, oh he just got it from the back let's see how it happened I'm like Chris cooked is the culprit oh Chris cooked is just straight up sent him around no ifs ands or buts for Chris cooked to blam get out of the way all right, I'll quit messing with him. Sure he didn't do it on purpose. All right, so what we got a lap down car up there. Blake Fulmer still the leader. Bradley Hemming in second. Noah Samples in third. Fourth goes to Kyle Beck. Fifth is Dylan Thornton. Sixth place, Lee Fetchenhire. Jordan Bitterling in a 225. Seventh, eighth is Jeremy Freeman. Ninth, Terry Joyner. Top 10. Jonathan Aldridge in the number 66 machine. Looked like J.D. Sass down there on the bottom. Was hoping to get a lap back. iRacing says no, no. Looked like somebody got one back there. Uh, hope everybody's having a great Monday night. Usually it's Tuesday night over here for the Simatics, but they uh, they helped me out a lot by switching to Mondays. So I uh, appreciate that, Jeremy. It's pretty awesome. So it'll be uh, Mondays at 8.30 if you want to watch these pro late models run around next week. We'll be back Monday at 8.30. Right now, Blake Fomer is about to hammer down. Green flags in the air. He better hammer down. He's got the 727 and the 8 of Noah samples all over him there. So they made it through. Look at 
We got them slide through three and four. They look good, man. A lot of talented drivers here. We got a stack field tonight. Right now, we got 17 cars out there, and Blake Fulmer's leading them around. Bradley Hemming in second. No samples in third. Kyle Beck in fourth. We got one up out of the groove right there. Mostly single file, though. bit of contact caution does come out uh, he managed to hang on to it though unless Jonathan Alders was in that and I don't think he was so uh, I raced it through a caution because that car went sideways there but he managed to save it he hung on to it pretty good Jeremy Freeman started ninth. He gained one spot. He's up to eighth. Let's go back up front. We are live at Williams Grove. Yeah, Rick. They battling. They got it going on out there. Appreciate everybody that's on Twitch, man. I don't know a whole lot about it, but we're on Twitch. And, hey, I appreciate you. I don't know how you found me. Or any of that, but I appreciate you stopping by. We're live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch right now, so. Got a few people out there watching this race here, the Simatics. So, right now, they're still under caution. They got to go around one more time, so we're just kind of hanging out. We got two cars getting a lap back. Terry Landis and J.D. Sash right there going back on the lead lap, as well as the 30 car right there. Mark Wilson, the number 30. Blake Farmer still up front. He's led 14 laps so far. Let's see, Bradley Hemming led one. Kyle Beck, he's led two. So right now, Blake Fulmer is the one dominating this race. He's led the most laps here tonight. So we're coming, at, we're a little over halfway here. 30 lap race. Lights are gonna go off. Our lights are off on the pace car. We're getting set to go green one more time here. But Blake Fulmer hammers down. Appreciate that, Don. I'm gonna use that. I used to say it all the time. I ain't heard it in a while. Oh, we got the 38 machine. Dylan Thornton. Go off, off a line right there, but he hung on to it. He's up in that good stuff. Maybe that's where he likes it, up there by the wall there. Oh, big wreck in the back. It's going to bring the caution out. Looks like Lee Fetchenheimer was in that one. Find out what happened to Lee. Oh, look. They bunched up right there. Chris Kutu was involved. He was in the middle. The zero five. Uh, he got caught up in that one as well. See who that is. Terry Joyner in a 05. Freeman gets twitchy. Craig said. Let's go back live here. They look good out there, man. I tell you what, they uh they know how to drive these cars. They better than I am. But that ain't saying much. <laughs> I ain't no good. 
But I definitely love watching these races, man. They they put on a lot of dust in the air. That's pretty cool. I racing did a great job with the cushion and uh, the track state and all the good stuff, man. Love it. Great job by I racing. So we're less than ten to go here. So we're winding down. This Tuesday night here. JD and Terry Landis getting another lap back there. They went down a couple laps earlier when they got. They had to call a tow truck. We seen Terry on his roof. So he had to call a tow truck. Ended up going a lap or two down here. Uh, lights are off on the pace car. Blake Fulmer's gonna send him sideways off into turn one. One more time, Kyle Beck's gonna be all over his back end there. Three wide already, Chris Cook is in that one. Chris goes to the high side, look at the 38. Dylan Thornton in, in the middle of that pack there, Kyle Beck was on the inside, they came out all right. Tim Christensen bobbles up a little bit. We got a caution in the back. That saves the 727 there. It looked like it could have got ugly. I believe Jeremy Freeman might have got caught up in that one. No, he didn't either. It was right in front of him, the 78. About lost it. Man. I don't know what around. Let's see if we can get a better look. Oh, Tim Christensen went around there. Oh, man. All right, we'll go back live and see what's going on up front here. So we're coming down. It's winding down. You ain't got much time. <laughs> I hear you, Craig. Black Farmer's still cocking the laps, man. Still leading the laps away here. It's going to be about three lap shootout. The 38 stuff made his way up to second. Dylan Thornton, phenomenal run by him. Let's see where he started at. He started eighth, he gained six spots. He's up to second. Kyle Beck's still there. He started first though. He's lost a couple spots from the beginning. And Bradley Hammond started third. He's uh, running fourth right now. Jordan Bitterling started seventh. He gained two spots, he's up to fifth. Chris Kukta, he's the highest mover so far. He's started 17th, he gained 11 spots. Not sure if he beat his way up through the pack or not, but good job to him. 11th, running seventh, Terry Joyner. So he gained four spots there. Kenneth McLaughlin, he gained eight spots. He started 16th, he's up to eighth. Noah Samples, lights are off on the pace car, by the way. He's running ninth. He started fourth. He lost five spots right now. Lee fetching higher. He just went backwards too. So we're about to hammer down one more time and send him slideways off into turn one with five to go. It's going to be four when they cross the line. Yeah, I agree, Don. I was just reading what you said. Oh, we got a big wreck. Back here. Looks like Kenneth, uh, 57 maybe. No. They're going to run it out. So I can't do a replay here. They're going to run it out. It's under five to go. So let's go back up front and watch the race. Blake Fulmer. Still leading this race. He's got the 727 car running second. Chris Coop to running third. Fourth is the 225 of Jordan Bitterling. Oh, battling there for that spot there. That's for fourth. Looks like he's going to have it. Terry Joyner. Oh, he turns him. On the last lap take over that four spot 
He's looking to pain back. He slides it down in there. Can't quit. get to his bumper. So he can't give it to him. But that's going to do it. Blake Farmer led 27 laps. Brought this one home in first place. Congratulations to the number nine. Blake Farmer. Second goes to Bradley Hammond. Third is Chris Cook. To, and uh, Chris, he gained 14 spots. Started 17th. Good job on his part. Chris Kuta, it's Jay Weezy and SRTV Network booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got you, buddy. Well, you started 17th. You gained 14 spots. How'd you do it? I uh, just stayed patient, tried to dodge all the wrecks, and uh, I don't know. That's the biggest thing with these things. You just got to keep patient and wait for the tires to hook up on that dirt and get in that black stuff. It's like driving on ice. You got to find that that moist dirt and uh, hit the throttle when you feel the hook. Yeah, I mean, it's awful hard to pass 14 cars on this track. That You know, this track has a tendency to slick off pretty quick. Where was the line at? Um, that, you know, it reset after the, uh, the heat races, so it was pretty tacky in a lot more spots than what it should have been. Um, but either way far down low, or if you can hook the right rear on that high line, right above the black, I mean, you got a pretty good run coming off the corner on the high side that's how I gained a few spots, so. Hey, well, you look good out there and you finished on the podium, so congratulations. Is there anybody you want to thank? Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, just thank you, Jeremy, for running this league. Does a good job. These fixed setups, everybody's running pretty close, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it's not the I racing setup, huh? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, honestly. Oh, really? Well, hey, man, congratulations on your third place finish tonight. And oh, hopefully thanks, we'll see you this again. Oh, yeah, you will. That's for sure. I like to hear that. Very, very confident young man, old man. Uh, I mean, young man, Chris Cook, the, he's a good friend of mine. Bradley Hinman, he's the next one. He finished second, but he started third, so he only gained one spot. Let's see if we can get a word in with Bradley. Bradley Hemming, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Am I saying it right? Hemming or Hyman? Hyman. Bradley Hyman, well, you look good out there, man. You kept it up front and you kept it clean. How's your race go? I tried my best, man. Uh, I don't see how I made it through that wreck. About two to go, but I did. Yeah, there was a lot of bumping and banging going on. That's why I said your car looks good. And you kept it up front. And you kept the nose clean. What did the track feel like? Uh, it felt pretty good. Uh, slick in some spots. Well, you was one spot away from bringing this one home, man. But you can't hold your head down for that. You finished second. Anybody want to thank? Uh, I want to thank my sponsors, D. Hyman Record Service. Hey, well, congratulations on your second place finish. Good talking to you. All right, thank you, sir. That was Bradley. I haven't ever talked to him before, but we have talked to this next one. That's the race winner, Blake Fomer. It's Jay Weezy, you got me? Loud and clear, brother. Hey, you did it, man. What'd you think? Yeah, you know, I got lucky with that invert. I got to start up front. This place is pretty hard to pass. Um, but this is a cool league, fixed setups. Jerry does a great job here, so we have a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, and you know, being up front is a place to be for sure. You know, you got caught up in that one wreck with that lap down car, but you managed to hang on to it. You kept it clean. You brought it home in first. Anybody want to thank? Yeah, my wife for just let me play this game right now while the kids are sleeping upstairs. So I appreciate her. <laughs> hey, it's not a game. It's a sim, right? <laughs> some, some would say some would yeah. say <laughs> every time i say that that's what i hear but yeah man hey you, you put on a great show out there you brought home the win man and, and you, you look good doing it too so hopefully we can see you up here in victory lane again next week right on man appreciate it hey congratulations okay. later that was your race winner blake falmer i mean Golly, he laid the smack down. He led 25 laps out there tonight at Williams Grove, and it's hard to do. They only had a couple cautions. They had a great race. 
So everybody out there watching, I appreciate y'all for tuning in tonight for the Sim Addicts here on SRTV Network. I'm Jay Weezy, and until next time, uh, let's go over the race results here real quick. We got Blake Fomer, Bradley Hemman, Hyman, he told me Hyman, right? Chris Cook to Jordan Bitterling, Terry Joyner, Jeremy Freeman, Lee Fetchenheyer, Tim Christensen, Kyle Beck, Noah Samples in 10th. 11th goes to Scott Burris, 12th is Terry Landis, 13th is J.D. Sash, Mark Wilson, Dylan Thornton, Kenneth McLaughlin, he had a tough night, man, I hate to see that for him. 17 cars, uh, Jonathan Aldridge, he looked good out there in that 66, he was fast all night as well. But hey, like I was saying, I appreciate everybody for watching tonight, and if you want to catch us again, we'll be back Thursday, Thursday night, it'd be, uh... I believe it's 8 o'clock with the Southern Super Series. We got a Hunter Lapper going to hit you smack dab in the face with it. So everybody out there watching, I appreciate y'all for coming by. And until next time, keep getting dirty and have some fun.